In the previous lecture, we essentially defined a relationship between intensity and the radius of a spherical wave. And in this example, we're going to apply that knowledge. So let's begin. Suppose the intensity of a wave created by an earthquake detected a distance of 80 kilometers from the point of origin is 50 times 10 to the 4 watts per meter squared. We want to calculate the intensity of the wave a distance of 350 kilometers away assuming our wave created by the earthquake is a spherical wave. So let's suppose this point is the point of origin of our spherical wave. The wave is created and it propagates outward in all possible directions, forming a sphere. Now, we are essentially comparing, we want to compare the intensity of our wave at point 1 and point 2. So recall the relationship between our intensities at point 1 and 2 and the radius at point 1 and the radius at point 2 that we derived in a previous lecture. So the intensity of our wave at point 2 divided by the intensity of our wave at point 1 is equal to the square of the radius at point 1 divided by the radius at point 2. Now, we know what the radius at point 1 is and we know what the radius at point 2 is. The radius of our spherical wave at point 1 is given to be, well, it's 80 kilometers. So 80 kilometers times 1000 gives us 80,000 meters. Now, what about the radius of the radius at point 2. The radius at point 2 is simply 350 kilometers times 1000 gives us 350 meters. Now, we also know what our I1 is. The I1 is given to be 50 times 10 to the 4 watts per meter squared. So if we bring this to the right side of our equation, we get that the intensity at position 2 is equal to the product of the intensity at position 1 and the square of the ratio of the radii, the radius at position 1 to the radius at position 2. So once again, we know what our intensity at position 1 is. It's 50 times 10 to the 4 watts per meter squared. And we need to convert our radii from kilometers kilometers to meters. So we have our R1 is 80,000 meters and R2 is 350,000 meters. So we divide the two values, we take the square and we multiply by 50 times 10 to the 4 and we obtain approximately 2.61 times 10 to the 4 watts per meter squared is the intensity of our spherical wave that is produced by our earthquake when that wave is found a distance of 350 kilometers from the point of origin.